Bruce Lee, who was born on November 27, 1940, and passed away on July 20, 1973, was a Hong Kong American martial artist and actor. He was the founder of Jit Kune Do, a hybrid martial arts philosophy that drew from different combat disciplines and is sometimes credited with paving the way for MMA. Mike Tyson, born on June 38, 1966, is an American professional boxer. He was nicknamed Iron Mike and Kid Dynamite in his early career. Tyson has an impressive record, he won his first 19 professional fights by knockout, 12 of them in the first round. He reigned as the undisputed world heavyweight champion from 1987 to 1990. It's no wonder Tyson is also regarded as one of the greatest heavyweight boxers of all time. Tyson is 1.8 meters tall, while Bruce Lee is 1.72 meters tall. At their peak, Tyson weighed 100 kilograms, while Bruce Lee weighed 62 kilograms. Many people believe that Tyson has a physical advantage in terms of body shape, leading to the belief that Bruce Lee was completely outmatched from a physical standpoint. A person weighing more than 60 kilograms can typically punch with a force of about 63 kilograms. However, individuals with physical training can generate a force of about 112.5 to 135 kilograms. It is claimed that Tyson's punch had a force of over 270 kilograms, which is twice the average punch force of Muhammad Ali. As a result, it is widely believed that when Mike Tyson was at the peak of his career, Bruce Lee wouldn't have been able to withstand even half of Tyson's punch. Please remember the following, Bruce Lee often emphasized that there are no rules in street fighting, unlike boxing, where there are restrictions on space, moves, and targeted areas. As we all know, Tyson is only trained in boxing and relies solely on his strength, whereas Bruce Lee's punches are a combination of speed and strength, making them incredibly effective. Bruce Lee's agility would also allow him to easily dodge Tyson's heavy punches, preventing Tyson from ever getting a chance to touch him. Bruce Lee often adopted the mentality of if the enemy doesn't move, I won't move. If the enemy wants to move, I move first. In this state of mind, as long as Bruce Lee identifies the right moment and utilizes his powerful moves, including deadly skills such as jabbing fingers to the eyes, kicking the groin, etc., the opponent would be knocked down instantly. Therefore, the argument is that even if Mike Tyson was in his prime, he would still be defeated by Bruce Lee in a street fight.